Blog Talk Radio. Good evening. You are now tuned in to the Nifty 90s, the stylish edition. This is Brittany, and I want to let you all know, usually I've been going, um, you know, I've been on the line for 15 minutes, and now it has come to my attention that I actually have 30 minutes, so I have 30 minutes to um, enjoy speaking with you all today. Now, we're going to go a different direction with the radio show today, being that the holiday is coming up and a lot has gone on, even in Atlanta. So before I even um, get into my own personal topic, I'm going to kind of discuss some of the main points that we um, are going to be discussing today. There was a big earthquake today in Georgia. We're going to discuss that, and we're also going to discuss um, – because this is a fashion edition, the topic for this week is family. Now, what I'm doing is last, when I first started this radio show, I started with family, then I did faith, and then I did fashion. So I'm going to restart that all over again, and then we're going to fully focus on fashion. So this, this main, my main discussion today, after I get past the discussing our interesting earthquakes, will be fashion in New York City. And this will actually be in honor of my grand, my great-grandmother who lives in New York. She's actually celebrating her 90th birthday around Christmas time. So I'm definitely going to discuss her. So we're going to we're going to really focus a lot on the New York uh fashion um scene right now and we're going to just, you know, kind of go over that plus, you know, really just dig deep into a couple of current events. So every week I have been discussing family and, you know, per the topic, but I think to change it up a little bit, we're going to discuss things that actually matter because, hey, you might not be a person into fashion, but you may not live in Georgia because here's the thing I have realized is that, um, well, when my uncle actually came into town a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about, you know, uh, the potential governor running Stacey Abrams and all this. So we all assume that all news is focused on every region, so some things that are being focused on here are not being focused everywhere. So we're going to discuss, you know, current events that are happening in Atlanta because we have a very different way that we broadcast and display our news, and then we'll get into fashion and family. So first we're going to discuss the hurricane, I'm sorry, the earthquake, I'm sorry, and then we're going to discuss my grandmother who is turning 90 around this time of year, so I'm we're going to discuss that, and then lastly, we're going to discuss fashion trends in New York. We're going to focus more on, uh, let's focus on New York fashion trends right now. So let's first discuss this big, huge hurricane. I'm sorry, I keep calling it a hurricane. It's actually a, um, it's actually not a hurricane. It is a, uh, what do we call it? Oh, a earthquake. So I've had a very, very busy day today trying to make sure that I give you all proper information. It's the holiday season. You all have a lot to do. So if you are taking out of your busy schedules to listen to me, I want to make sure that I give you things that are going to be worth your while and that you can think about throughout the week. So let's discuss this huge, huge, huge hurricane. It's an earthquake that is being discussed with everybody. So the big thing right now that everybody is discussing is this huge, huge uh, earthquake that we all felt. Now, a lot of us, if you've traveled to the West Coast, it's known for earthquakes. So everybody's like, oh, it's not the same as the ones on the West Coast. And I honestly didn't feel it. But this is actually, when I'm actually looking up, this actually made it to Twitter. This is a big, a heavily discussed topic on Twitter. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that I give you the proper information, which I'm actually on my Twitter account now. I want to make sure we actually, we're actually on Twitter. Let me make sure. I didn't tell everybody that we're actually on Twitter. Um, our My account on there is the Nifty 90s. I'm going to go ahead and um, put that on, my, on our Facebook group. So if any of you all are are a lover of the 90s, which I am, you can get on here. Uh, we're on Facebook, 
I, and I believe we may be on Tumblr, but I need to verify that. I know we're definitely on Twitter, so I've actually just shared that with our lovely listeners. So I've actually, this actual show has been um, in the making for about a year. So this is a long time coming for me, so I'm so excited. So even my about section says mentally stuck in the 90s, but my style is out of this world. I have a great... Um, you know, profile cover, all that is being redone before the new year, which is interesting because, um, as I'll tell you, at the end of this radio show, I have a lot um, that I'm working on before January 1st of 2019. So yeah, if you keep looking at my Facebook, keep looking at my Twitter, you're going to see a lot of changes being done. So let, let's see here. Now, first we're going to discuss, a, oh, the hurricane. So I'm actually looking up to make sure that I have proper, um, you know, um, let's look up hurricane right now on Twitter. I want to make sure I give you all the right information. So, you know, keep on hurricane. It's, it's an earthquake. I'm, I'm just not used to talking about earthquakes in Georgia. So let's look up earthquake. This was a huge topic on Twitter. So let's see what everybody's saying. And if you follow me on the Nifty 90s, that's the I'm on Twitter, the underscore Nifty 90s. You can get all information, all things 90s. So let's see. NBC had got a hold of it. We're just going to kind of go through some of the links. Uh, the Weather Channel got a hold of it. This is really, really huge. And some of the other big, I, I'm, I should get on Twitter, but I'm going to get on there more. And I think it's great to kind of incorporate Twitter into my uh, radio show because everything's done in real time. So we have Twitter, um, some of the trends for me. I don't know. I, I, I have to remember. I think I can change this, but on mine, no phone for a year, 2018 in five words, Michael Cohen, that's big, Phil Jones, Blessed Trinity, uh, Ann Beasley, Manny Diaz, Kings, and Cartersville. So we're going to look at some other topics. The Weather Channel, the, the, yeah, the, this is the big thing is there's a magnitude 4.4 hurricane. It, I mean, I'm sorry, earthquake. It actually, um, Tennessee and Georgia actually felt it. So we're going to get into that and then go into the next topic. And then we're going to get into the next topic. So let's see here. What we're going to do now is let's make sure I have all the links together before I yes yeah, so everybody is pretty much discussing the earthquake right now. So I'm gonna pick a couple links that I feel um work for me. So yeah everybody's discussing the hurricane the earthquake, I'm sorry. So we have a ton of time to discuss that. Then we're gonna get into family. Then we're gonna talk about New York fashion trends. So according to NBC News, we've had a four point four earthquake. It jolted Tennessee and we felt it in Atlanta. So indicator, um, just kind of, you know, if we you know, have a little time to scan here, engineers are inspecting that a Waltz Bar nuclear plant in Tennessee, um, it's a, as a precaution after a magnitude 4.4 earthquakes struck nearby. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey, I'm not reading the whole thing, I just want to kind of give you the point. Um, the U.S. Geological Survey says the earthquake struck eastern Tennessee and could be felt in Atlanta. The light earthquake uh, happened Wednesday around 4.14 a.m., about seven miles. That's 11 kilometers northeast of Decatur. About 13 minutes later, a 3.3 magnitude aftershock struck. The Tennessee Valley Authority says the nuclear plant didn't appear to be affected and would continue to operate safely. So it just kind of went into detail. I mean, you can, in your own free time, just kind of go, you know, and do some research. But this actually, it, I mean, we just don't, we don't have weather like that here. And that's why I'm saying hurricane, because we just don't have, earthquakes out here. I mean, the pictures are very startling, but um, Nashville's kind of in that uh, got affected. Um, another area that I'm not familiar with is called Decatur, Tennessee, which, which is in, what, what's interesting to me is that I'll actually be going to a church conference next so it's next June in Nashville, so it's going to be really interesting. So uh, It's actually playing right now. This is the Weather Channel, so I don't know if you can hear it. But I actually have to turn this off because I didn't get this approved. I didn't get this approved uh, for the radio show. So if you heard a little bit, I cannot clip that. But make sure you go to the weatherchannel.com because we're not um, connected with their brand. But you would have, if you want more information, you have to get on weather.com. They give you more details on the earthquake. So pretty much, uh, you know, discussing at a glance on Wednesday, the earthquake was centered between Chattanooga and Knoxville, but it was felt in the metro area as well as parts of the Tennessee Valley. So when I actually woke up on Facebook, I actually went to bed early because I had um, I went into a new fitness regimen. Then I woke up, I said, oh, wow, what is everybody talking about this big earthquake? But where I currently live, um, I did not, you know, hear anything fresh. 
you know, about this situation. So I don't think anyone in my area actually felt it, but in the metro maybe, like I think maybe as far as Sandy Springs, they might have felt it. But I just thought it was very, very interesting. And um, while we're actually discussing this, I'm going to bring you all some newer information. Uh, one of my major concerns are, the, uh, while we're talking about current events, um, the clean water crisis that is happening in um, all over the country. Um, I know Detroit gets a lot of focus on their clean water, but another issue is going on in the state of Louisiana, I believe, and a couple of other states. And that um, being that West Monroe was dealing with that, my mother grew up about a couple miles away from that area. I really want to hone in on the clean the clean water crisis. And I actually just signed an article. I'm going to do some more personal research. I've literally spent hours looking this up. But um, Trump is trying to – I'm sorry, he probably uh, – our president, President Trump, um, he unveiled a plan to roll back clean water rules, regardless of what you will learn on this radio show. Regardless of your political uh, standpoint, we will always respect who uh, America has put in place. My listening audience is very diverse. So I have a lot of people on Facebook who say, uh, you're a president, you're a friend. Now, I I am, you know, this is not a red versus blue, blue versus red. I have friends of all different cultures and backgrounds. My family is very diverse. And with my family very diverse, a lot of them have different political viewpoints. So we are not into the whole, um, you know, far left, far right movement. We are I am current yet. I have to stay in the middle because I don't want to offend anybody. But we're definitely. I'm, I'm actually glad I rest. I'm, I'm so glad I keep doing it. I'm so glad I. This is what happens when you try to find something new. But I'm so glad I found. We're definitely going to discuss uh, the clean water crisis. I know everybody's focusing on um, the Detroit problem, but there are so many other scenarios. Detroit is not the only area that that's happening to. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. And because, and I think being that my mom grew up, um, West Monroe, I will confirm that's West Monroe, Louisiana. We actually have Monroe, Georgia, so I have to specify. Um, my mother grew up a couple miles away from there. So we're going to definitely get into the clean water crisis and how I feel about that. So per the earthquake that seemed, it not only shook Atlanta, it shook my social media. I woke up at like 4 in the morning because I went to bed early again after um, doing a new workout plan, and I, and I you know, fallen asleep too early. I woke up and I said, whoa, we had an earthquake. So this has to be one of the bigger news stories we've had to deal with. Even though the earthquake was not in our town, it was actually in a – it was in Tennessee, which is interesting because I have to go out there in a couple of uh, – as I mentioned, a couple of months um, for a church conference. And, of course, it's Dollywood. It's a very nice – Area, so um, actually, I just reshared that with my lovely new um, my no, my lovely new people on. I have a lot of uh, accounts that go with my um, you know businesses, and um, I love the nineties. You know, you'll know mine because it says the nifty nineties. Feel free to view. I'm gonna keep this updated. I've only done four tweets. I have two followers. Three following on zero listen. I mean, my, my page looks super quiet. So I'm going to keep this. Of course, 2016, I wrote new radio show coming to you last day from the ATL. Then I have a YouTube. So I'm really trying to, as you can see, update this. Of course, I was talking about the 90s life. Today, kids will never know the struggle of having to wait for these to finish rewinding. We're talking about VHSs, and we're also talking about the weather. So we have a lot to discuss. So now that we're at the halfway point, thank God I have 30 minutes because I have a lot to discuss with you all. So now we've discussed the Big earthquake of our time period. A lot of people were discussing that, and it was quite interesting, the, you know, everybody's viewpoints on that. So now that we've discussed the weather, we're going to now discuss New York, New York, New York. Now, if you're actually from New York, uh, it's so funny to me. My, my grandma's been up there. She actually um, she's born in Louisiana but went up to New York for uh, the work industry because she had, you know, you know, because there was a different job industry up there and, you know, did very well for herself and has lived in Manhattan, you know, almost 50-plus years. No one can understand how can somebody live there that long. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot to ingest being, you know, she's a couple of blocks from President Trump's Trump Tower, and he wants to buy her building. So she lives in a very iconic area. I just love going up there, not only because I'm in the fashion industry, but because it's it's she's so centralized and it's so expensive. And the most interesting part about her area, me and my grandmother and mother tried to get her furniture years ago, and it was it was kind of odd and funny at the same time. I said, oh, you know, 
being that you all are black, it's shocking that you all would try to buy furniture from in this area because the furniture is so expensive in the store that most black people can't afford to shop. 